good day to all of you today we are going to see about how to find out stiffness matrix and matrix multiplication operation by using a calculator okay by using your engineering calculator we can easily multiply this matrix okay so that is what the example uh, example uh, problem okay so i am going to show you so x1 y1 x uh, x2 y2 x3 y3 and everything is given hence small as uh, poisson's ratio thickness of the element is given we have to find out the k matrix that will be k matrix should be in terms of 6 cross 6 matrix okay so after writing down everything you know the formula area of, of the triangle is 1 by 2 1 x1 y1 1 x2 y2 1 x3 y3 okay so the area of the triangle can be found out 1 by 2 1 x1 y1 1 80 30 1 50 120 how to find out the area of the triangle by using your calculator that means the determinant so the determinant of this matrix has to be found out can be easily found out by using your calculator okay let me show you how go to mode press up to this and press 2 for matrix operation and again shift 4 it will ask you the dimension of the matrix 1 so let us consider a matrix 1 the dimensionality of the matrix that is 3 cross 3 right so m is 3 and n is also 3 now it will ask you the value of a11 a12 a13 likewise a111 a1220 a1330 a211 a2280 a2330 a311 32 50 a33 120 so now we fed the values into the calculator again press shift 4 and press this arrow key you will get determinant so determinant of shift matrix press 3 and 1 so determinant of matrix a and press equal it will give you 5400 okay since we have the value of 1 by 2 outside so let us divide by 2 so the area of the element is 2700 now let us go with matrix multiplication after finding out the value of B matrix that is strain displacement matrix we will have this kind of matrix right and stress strain relationship matrix that is D we have this kind of matrix now the formula for stiffness matrix is BT DB a into T we can easily calculate the values okay first let me multiply with stress strain relationship matrix with strain displacement matrix that is D into B we have these two matrix right so consider this is 3 cross 3 matrix and this is 3 is 3 cross 6 matrix after multiplying this we will get 3 cross 6 matrix as output how to do the matrix multiplication 
if we have simply 3 cross 3 matrix into 3 cross 3 matrix we can directly do it by using our calculator but for this d into b we will be having a different method to find out the 3 cross 3, uh, 3 cross 6 output matrix so first shift matrix so dimension so first let us assume a matrix 3 cross 3 and the value of a 1 1 4 1 0 1 4 0 0 0 and 1.5 so now we fed the value of matrix D for matrix B we cannot directly feed all the values because it have a dimensionality of 3 cross 6 so now we are splitting the matrix into two so let us assume this is B and this is C ok now the resultant of matrix A cross B and A cross C can be directly written for 3 cross 6 matrix so now I am going to feed a value shift matrix dimension matrix B that is also 3 cross 3 so I am writing the value of I am feeding the value of B11 minus 3 0 3 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 now I fed the value of matrix B that is this matrix only ok now again feeding the value of matrix C that is also 3 cross 3 I am going to take the remaining value of this particular matrix 0 0 0 minus 1 0 2 minus 1 sorry 3 2 0 ok now we have splitted that D into B matrix as 3 matrix ok matrix K matrix B matrix C now we can find out the multiplication of 3 cross 6 matrix right 3 cross 3 into 3 cross 6 matrix for doing that shift 4 go to 3 and matrix A you are calling the matrix A values multiply with shift 4 to matrix B and press equal so it will give you the first 3 by 3 matrix ok so you can check the values see minus 12 minus 1 12 minus 3 minus 4 3 minus 1.5 minus 4.5 and minus 1.5 now we can calculate shift 4 matrix A into shift 4 matrix C the remaining values it will give you C minus 1 0 2 minus 4 0 8 4.5 3 0 ok so now you might have understand the concept of matrix multiplication that is the different dimensionality matrix can be also done by using our engineering calculator FX 991MS ok now this matrix has to be multiply with B transpose matrix right so we can again split this matrix into two that is BT now we can write it as BT so this is your BT matrix and this is your 
d into b matrix the resultant matrix so that is whatever the value we have found out so i am going to multiply this three matrix uh, this two matrix that is 6 cross 3 multiply with 3 cross 6 you will get the value of 6 cross 6 matrix output how we can do it okay again the bt matrix can be divided into two groups so the upper one is a1 the lower one is a2 and similarly the db matrix the resultant matrix this matrix can be split into two groups so this is one group and this is another group so let us say this is b and let us say this is c okay so now you can feed the value of a1 a2 b and c okay so this is very simple so again i am calling shift 4 dimension of matrix a that is 3 cross 3 I am feeding the upper values only. See, minus 3, 0, minus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 3, 3, 0, minus 1. So, this is now the matrix of A11. Okay. A1. Okay. The capital A1 is represented by like this. and let us feed the value of matrix b shift to 4 dimension for b so that is also 3 cross 3 minus 12 minus 1 12 minus 3 minus 4 3 minus 1.5 minus 4.5 minus 1.5 okay again shift to 4 we will feed the value for 3 a c matrix 3 cross 3 minus 1 0 2 minus 4 0 8 4.5 3 and 0 okay again shift to 4 now i am going to do the matrix multiplication that is this is a1 right into b matrix now you will get this for this portion values you will get this see that is 7.5 that is 7.5 sorry that is 7.5 7.5 minus 34.5 7.5 17.5 1.5 minus 34.5 1.5 37.5 right so we got this value right so this is a1 into b matrix right Similarly for shift 4 I'm doing matrix A multiply with so this is matrix A1 shift 4 and matrix C now you will get the remaining values C minus 1.5 minus 3 minus 6 minus 9.5 minus 9 minus 8 minus 7.5 minus 3 minus 6 okay so now we the top of the matrix have been filled again we have to do shift 4 dimension first i am going to feed the a2 matrix here see this is the portion of a2 0 sorry so 3 cross 3 and a1 value is 0 minus 1 3 0 0 2 0 2 0 okay now i fed the values now again we can call upon the matrix 
A2, right? This is matrix A2. Multiply with SIP to 4 matrix B. So we will get the remaining portion minus 1.5, minus 9.5, minus 7.5, minus 3, minus 9, minus 3, minus 6, minus 8, and 6. Okay, this is very simple, right? Again, do the matrix multiplication. So A2 matrix into shift 4 3 so the remaining values we will get 17.5 9 minus 8 9 6 0 minus 8 0 16 okay so now we directly multiplied all the values and filled the value of the matrix 6 cross 6 so this is as simple as that you can use your own calculator to find out these values okay so it will be very convenient to use your calculator method for your exam to save your time okay the final matrix can be written like this k matrix okay the outside matrix values can be directly multiplied that you already know because b matrix have some coefficient that is the outside matrix values bt also it, it has some coefficient similarly for d and b matrix also it has some coefficients outside you can multiply all these values and find out these values so you will get the stiffness matrix so this is very simple method okay so okay thank you for uh, watching this video and if you like it you please subscribe to my channel and please share to these your friends so that will be very helpful to you okay thank you very much